Hello painters and welcome to our channel Pintado a Juego. I'm Silvia and in today's video we are going to show you how to use filters from Amo by Mick Jimenez. If you want to see how we use these filters, follow me. What we'll need is the filter we want to use, a couple of flat brushes, a paper towel and a small plastic bowl or container that we can pour the filter into. And as always, remember to shake the bottle well. In our case, we are using the brown filter for dark green, but your choice of the filter will depend on the base color of your model. There are many different color tones, so it won't be hard to find the right one for your project. If you want to use a filter over acrylic paint, we recommend you apply varnish first, as the filter may react with the acrylic paint and cause undesired effects. To apply the filter, dip your brush in it and then remove the excess liquid on a paper towel or napkin. The way of applying a filter is different to how we would normally apply wash. With wash, our goal is to highlight the shadows and reach all the gaps of the model to create a sensation of depth, while with a filter our goal is to make the transition between the different colors smoother. Another difference is that with wash we want to coat the mini generously. This is not the case with filters. When applying a filter, we must be more careful and try not to flood the surface with it. Remember that with filters we just want to dampen the model. However, similarly to wash, we can apply several coats over each area until we achieve the result we are looking for. With each new coat we will darken the final appearance. It is also important to note that we must apply the filter over all the parts of each color, as it will be easy to notice the areas without filter and this can spoil the overall appearance of the model. Just take your time, be patient and enjoy the ride. For those who have never used filters and don't really know what they are, here is an example. Painting filters work similarly to filters used in photography. Instagram filters are not all that different, basically it's a color that modifies the previous ones to a greater or lesser degree. Not only can we use filters to make our models look nicer and more complex, but it's also a nice little trick to cover up some small defects that may have occurred during the process of modulation. We must admit that ever since we discovered those filters, we've been obsessed with them. They really do take our vehicles to the next level, and we're not talking only about models. You can also use them on vehicles from 40k, bold action or flames of war. For those in Spain, these 35ml bottles cost around 360 on Emil's website and you can also find them in sets for specific vehicles or armies. By the way, if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload our next video. Back to filters. When compared to washes, filters dry much faster, considering that we only dampen the model with them and not wet them completely. You can see that with a little bit of product the tonality is already changing, as you can see in the video. We can also use different filters on the same surface, widening the color range of our models and creating very interesting color contrasts.
And it's important to note that filters are nothing new. They've been used by modelists for a very long time and there are even ways to make them at home. Maybe at some point we will give it a try and make a video showing how to make homemade filters. Overall, and as you can see, filters are a very practical tool that should not be missing on any modelist's table. They provide new options for when we want to slightly change the tone of our vehicles, but they can be used just as much for creating a sensation of dirt on our models. Having said this, you are welcome to try this product on your own vehicles and let us know in the comments how it went. If you've already tried them, do share your experiences, whether they're good or bad. And that's it painters, as we like to say on this channel, filters, just like many other things, are very easy to use if you follow the correct steps. I hope you liked this video, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when we upload our next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time!